Hi, welcome to this week's video. I don't know what day this is going up. I'm very discombobulated and very behind on all my videos. Anyways, so I'm going on another staycation. Well, it's actually a work staycation. I need to get out of my house to get work done. I must. So I'm going for two days. I'm heading over to the curve. So let's go. Okay, I have arrived. I have been in traffic for two and a half hours because Wayakiwe sucks. And apparently we have to tolerate that entire highway until December, but I'm also not seeing it being done by December, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so let me just show you guys where I'm staying. You guys have seen this place before, but I just figured why not share in case you, you know, want to have a staycation. You want to leave your house without actually having to leave town and, you know, you can still have the aesthetics of being out of town, but you're still in town. I'm basically just describing a staycation. All right, let me show you where I'm at. So from the door, here is the living room area. It is absolutely adorable. The dining area, I love the big windows. Such a vibe. And then kitchen, where you can cook if you want to. You can order in. They have a restaurant upstairs. I'll be showing you guys while I'm here. They also have everything that you need when it comes, oops, open the wrong side. They also have everything that you need, plates, uh, cups, cutlery, glasses, whatever you need, baboon, they got you. And then if you go down this hallway, a bathroom, so if you have friends over, they can use this bathroom. You can also do your laundry if you stay here for a longer period of time. Easy squeezy, lemon squeezy. And then this is where I'm gonna be sleeping. Of course, I have unpacked because I am extra. And then here is the walk-in closet, obviously. Bedroom, and this is the bed. And then we have the bathroom here, which I love. So you can shower and do your jammity jam jam. And if you go down this hallway, we have the other bedroom. This is the smaller room, obviously, but it's fabulous. And then the bathroom. Okay, I know I have makeup here. Let me explain why. I'm usually quite messy with my makeup, so if I get two bedrooms, which y'all know I love, having rooms that have two bedrooms because I don't like sleeping with my stuff. I'm weird like that. I do my makeup in a separate room so I can mess up this room and I don't have to feel so bad. And then shower. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. Now let me get ready for my shoots. I'll see you guys probably during dinner time because I gotta work. Baby gotta work, 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 work. Not enough for the day considering I started at like five. Um, this is my next setup. If you, I don't know, if you just want to see the stuff that I post and why and how I shoot them, just follow me on Instagram. You can see the final products there. Um, yeah, so let me just do this one. This is a reel. It's a funny, ha ha ha, jokey jokey reel. It's simple. This was Spotify. Yeah, anyways. Oh, would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning? Good morning. Ooh, that bright. Hold on. There we go. Good morning. So, the man is here. He's there. He's here. I was gonna show you, but you know, whatever. Um, woken up, gotten some work done. Guy, hey, I think it's hard. I uh, got some work done, and now we're doing breakfast. It's fine. So I had breakfast brought to the room. Uh, the this place also acts like a hotel, right? So it can be serviced. It's it's a serviced apartment slash hotel. They have breakfast options. So I got the bed and breakfast. And with the bed and breakfast, you can either go downstairs and have your breakfast there, or you can have it brought up. So. If I don't have to hang out with humans, I'll, I'll pick that option. So breakfast. I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find. I'm standing right here. All right, I am done for the day. I'm heading out for dinner. I have not had lunch at all today, um, so I just want to have a quick 
dinner and a drink because I deserve it. I've done so much work today. I'm genuinely proud of myself. Oh, let me just show you outfit of the day. So here is my outfit of the day. Some giraffe print pants. They're quite long. I'll show you in the long mirror. Um, a beige bodysuit bag from Shkwela hair. Look how like this hair is everything. I should show you guys how I install it. Yeah, so hmm. Oh, this is the full look. This is how long the pants are. Vibing. Okay, let's go eat. Oh, and mask. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things. But Good morning. I blacked out like an idiot kumbaf yesterday. That's a family joke. I'll explain that another time. Um, I am running the shower. I want to take a shower. I'm so excited. Also, I've taken two cups of coffee. So my energy levels are. I was so tired this morning. But coffee has kicked in. Bit, ooh, hawks, oh, wait. There was some like bird beef happening outside. Okay, it is a wrap. I am dressed. I am not going home. I'm checking out, but I'm gonna go see my girl Lexi for lunch. So let's go do that. But it's been so real. Oh, by the way, this place is managed by TSG Hospitality. So if you are looking for places, you know, for a staycation, while in Nairobi or whatever, um, they have multiple properties, not just this one. Um, they have the loft, which I've stayed in a couple of times, and they have a few others. I'm going to put their link down below so you can check out all their properties. If, you know, again, you just need a staycation, a little home away from home. Um, yeah. And also I've put the link down below for how to book the curve if you want to get this place. And here are the rates. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. And this is my outfit of the day, super cash. Just black on black. With some bell bottoms and some sandals in this bag. Okay, let's go. So I'm at Lexi's house. And as per usual, first thing that I've done is rummage through her snack section. And she has these dried apples. Let me show you. Oh my god, they're so good. These. Oh my god. I don't know how and why I've never had these before, but I highly recommend. So good. Mm -mm -mm. And then you have one in your hand. And you take some crisps, something salty. So you have the crisp, and you're like, mmm, 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 mm. salty. Then after you swallow that, you have one of these, and your mouth is like, oh, what's that sweetness? Also, this hair is giving what it's supposed to be giving. It's giving vibes, it's giving aesthetics, it's giving Naomi Campbell, it's giving a little bit of Nicki Minaj. Right? Right? Oh my god. Hi. Is that lighting gonna be decent to me? So, we are back home and I am traveling. We are going to the DRC. I am very excited. I'm going with Jumbo Jet. I have never been to the DRC and this is going to be the first time and it's going to be, I'm just excited because I've never been there. Um, specifically, we're visiting Goma. Goma. My brain sometimes says Gomo. I'm pretty sure it's Goma. It's a very small city. Um, I heard it's absolutely beautiful and breathtaking so I'm excited to go check it out. And I received this question before like weeks, weeks, weeks ago about my traveling bag and what I usually carry with me. And I'll be breaking this apart during different traveling trips. So I'm going to start with, okay, so this is usually my bag that I carry for my makeup. I'm not going to talk about makeup today, but this is from Denry. It is absolutely beautiful and it like it holds my makeup really, really well. 
And this is my toiletry bag. I love it because you can really pack it up and then you just like hang it up on the back of uh, whatever doors or the bathroom or whatever, uh, whatever hotel you're staying at. Love it. So now let's talk about what's in here. All right, so skincare, I'm just gonna talk about like my must have, my absolute must haves. So I use this Bright and Complete face wash by Garnier and I always carry my exfoliating glove. Y'all know how much I love a good exfoliating glove. Then I love this charcoal mask, the three in one. I always carry it with me if I'm gonna be gone for more than two days, just in case. Then after washing my face, I use these two toners. Yes, I use both of them at the same time. So I use the yellow one first. This is a two in one, then I use a three in one. Um, my skin chemistry has just changed over the years, so I need two of them. I don't know why, it is what it is. I use this spot corrector. I love it, just to even out my skin more. Then I jump straight to this vitamin C serum. Also from Garnier, it is an even and matte vitamin C high concentrated serum. I think it's done amazing things for my skin. Uh, I absolutely love it and it's very affordable. I've used other um, vitamin C toners that cost like 7K. This one costs 1,400. We love that for us. <laughs> there is this snail serum that I use and I don't know why it's not here, but here's a picture. I got it from Skin Pod. Um, I don't know if it's in the bathroom, I need to grab it. But, another thing that I have included in my, like, always to go um, skincare routine when I travel and also while I'm home. Why is this not focusing? This is a sunscreen, it's from Neogen uh, Dermatology. It is also from Skin Pot, it is SPF 50. I know people say, why do you use sunscreen? Black don't crack. It does, it might just, you know, take longer to crack than other races, but it does. Protect your damn skin, I'm just saying. Oh, these masks, also from Garnier, I love <laughs> These are the ampule masks. These are the ampule masks. I'm gonna put all this um, stuff down below in case you're curious. Now let's talk about pads. Full disclosure, I am gonna be showing always pads. Number one, I am working with always. I've worked with always for a few years. I love them. Number two, I have actually used always ever since I was 13 years old. I only attach myself to brands that I use. Um, I don't talk about things that I don't use. So everything else I've spoken, spoken about was completely not sponsored. Yes, I do work with Garnier, but they did not pay me at all to do this video. Just as a heads up. Now, pads. I'm gonna be talking about pads, tampons, and panty liners. I have had this situation before in the past where literally random men, men, will come to a woman's YouTube page and be like, ew, why are you talking about periods? You're on a woman's page. There's gonna be a moment in time when we will talk about vaginas and what's happening with the vaginas and we'll talk about periods and I need you to grow up and realize that it is a part of life. We need periods, otherwise, literally population would be zero. So get over it, grow up, it's not that serious. Oh, so I started my period when I was 13. Good times, whatever, pretty average, pretty whatever. And it has been on schedule ever since I was like 17. I could pinpoint all the way down to the hour when my period would start. And it always starts between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. And usually 21st, 22nd, 23rd, or 24th, depending on the month, because certain months are a little different, right? But this past, let's say four months, have been different because I got vaccinated like fully vaccinated and it affected my period. Now, I don't know if it affected everybody's, but I've heard other people's periods have also been affected. Number one, it's affected when it shows up. It literally just shows up. So now every single time I travel and go anywhere, I can't guess. Like I can't be like, oh, I'm not gonna have my period. I'm just like, just carry it because you just, you never freaking know. Um, number one. Number two, it's like, it's become so heavy. Not generally, like, but the day one, like my first day periods have become so heavy so heavy like almost like you remember when you were like 13 and you just started your period remember how heavy those periods were where you're just like how am i alive how is it possible that i have survived another month any other creature that's not a female would be dead if they were just bleeding just just bleeding for like days at a time they'd be dead um 
So anyways, women are superheroes, just saying. We're kind of amazing because of that. Now because of that, I've had to switch up what I use when I'm on my period, right? So number one, I always use tampons during the day. It is my preference. Some people do not like them, but please do not be on me about it because I'm not on you about using the cup because I want you to be happy and whatever makes you happy makes you happy, right? So I personally like to use tampons during the day and I use tampons, but whatever, right? Tampons are tampons are tampon. Now, pads. I normally use these 100% organic cotton. I love, like I really love these. So, I got introduced to these. These are the Always Infinity Flex Foam. If you have an extra flow, and I mean like heavy flow, so good. They're flexible, and I mean so flexible to where when you're sleeping you don't even know, like it doesn't feel like it's on. So it moves with you, you don't feel like it's shifted on you. So good. I mean, these are really good, but yo, when I tell you I'm surprised that I survive every month with the way my parents have been running lately, so good. So freaking good. Like, I love them. So I am going to be packing them, and I put all my pads and panty liners usually in a plastic Ziploc bag. I don't let them roam free in my bags just for hygiene reasons. Um, I kind of just like always knowing where they are. Also, I was taught this by my mom. When traveling, especially if you know you're going to be traveling with a group of people, for example, when I am traveling to DRC, I'm going to be traveling with influencers, content creators, a lot of them are going to be females. Always carry extra just in case anybody finds themselves in a situation where they need a tampon, pad, or panty liner. You know, like keep yourself secured, but also pack for other people. Now, the panty liners that I go with, these are the 100% organic cotton panty liners. So these are the 100% cotton top sheet panty liners, very comfortable if you have sensitive skin or anything like that. They are spectacular. So yeah, that's usually what I carry in my little travel bag. Oops. Alright, now let me pack. And then let's go to the DRC. I'm so excited. I've never been there. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Alright, uh, we're staying at Serena Hotel. It is their very first five-star hotel. So yay, let me give you guys a quick little tour of my room before we start the trip. So if you come in through here, the first room is the bathroom, which of course has everything that you need. Shower, bathtub, I shall be using her later today. Of the closets here, a full mirror. Hello, darling. And then the double chill area. Of course, this is a work desk. I'm about to start using it now because I am behind on so much work. And then, and then we have a balcony area. How beautiful is it to wake up to this every morning? How beautiful. And there's the lake. 
would you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight okay i hope it's not weird talking to you through the mirror so let me just explain real quick what is happening so i am here in the democratic republic of the congo um we came here with jumbo jet so this is the inauguration day they which basically means that now jumbo jet is flying down to the Congo and I think that is fantastic because we got to unite the continent you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying right now I am getting dressed for uh, the inauguration cocktail which is literally in five minutes and I am running very late because I had a ton of work to get done before I could sit down and basically just even chill and I have not even done that yet. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, hopefully I'll be done in the next 10 minutes. So see you guys in 10. I am dressed. Here's my outfit of the night. And I'm leaving my sandals at the reception because I could not go. with zero focus washed my face as you can tell I still have the Maybelline <laughs> ink stay lipstick on me because I am running my bath because I realized halfway through well at the club it's not really a club it's 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 a bar that's inside the hotel that we're staying at it was empty it was just us um while i was there i was just like i'm tired i don't know if i can like hang out with the rest of you young kids so i took my 32 and basically a couple of days before i turned 33 ass back to my room and just told myself i'm gonna take a bath um as i wait for this thing to fill up I'm gonna iron tomorrow's outfit. Mind you, it is 8.30. Welcome to 30. It's fun here. You go to sleep at night. It's really lovely. I'm not gonna lie to you. This bath is lit. Question, how do you guys like your bath? I like my like scorching hot. Like you know where you like enter one limb at a time, literally one limb at a time because it physically hurts to do more than that and you have to like limit your movements otherwise it hurts more. And then when you finally lay down, it usually takes around like three minutes. You like don't move until the water cools down by itself. Or are you those people who just start off with like lukewarm? I start off with like scorching hot. It's scorching hot right now. I can't move that much. I'm literally a lobster and I love it. I love it so much. It hurts so good. It's turning my muscles into jello. Highly recommend. Good morning, I am fresh. I am heading out for breakfast before we go do our thing. Oh, look at this. I realized yesterday it wasn't clear enough. So I just wanna show you guys now. Beautiful lake view, baby, yes. Oh, an outfit of the day, let me just show you. All right, so outfit of the day, I've got my high design bag. Some brown sandals, like this beautiful white baby doll esque dress. It's super loose, very, very comfortable. Some Majuels, mask of the day, and that is my suitcase because I am extra and I need to carry stuff with me. Romance in a slow 
give it all up, set me free You already took all the best of me Is it enough finally? Give it all up, set me free Let's go! Okay, I want to show you something very interesting. So, if you don't know this, but there was a volcano eruption in May here in Goma. It's pretty intense. So, that's Niragongo. This is Shaheru. Uh -huh. Shaheru. Niragongo behind it, this is Shaheru. Yes. Okay. So it, er it erupted in May. Yes. It erupted in May and it basically, you see everywhere where it's dead. This is all from the lava. Do you see all the dead trees? And it goes all the way. Do you see those little hills everywhere? That is Rwanda. And it went all the way down there. This is the flow of the lava. This is literally dried lava. You know the one so we've just gotten back from the volcano. We're gonna go do another <coughs> test. Ooh, that was inappropriate, that was weird. We're gonna go do another COVID test. Um, second one in three days, yay me. Okay, second test of the week. My, my receipt? Yeah, you have to. You Are we done? Ah, nice. I've just taken a tour of this place. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. Let me just show you guys. Don't know how much you mean to me, baby. I can't put it in words. You don't know how much you give to me, baby. You keep making me learn. Yeah. You're like a painting hanging on my every wall. You save me. You give me. Good morning. It is day two. I am dressed and ready to go. Oh, forgot to close this door. So we are having breakfast at the deck today. Okay, here's our Kenyan crew. Kenyans! Yes. Good mornings! Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And these are our resident uh, Rwandese who look South African, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Wait, aren't you? How what are you? Congolese. Okay, you Congolese. Yes. Okay, my fault. She lives in Rwanda. She lives over there. Yes. That's my my fault. My fault. She's Congolese though. <laughs> Mountains to Malaika Lodge. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Extremely. Yay. Hey. Hey. So we've just arrived at the lodge. It is beautiful here. Hi, Mama. 
um, yeah, it's almost like the equivalent of, I don't know, going to Naivasha, I don't know. What would you say the equivalent is for coming here, like in Kenya? Naivasha. Naivasha, right? It's like Naivasha, yeah. Yeah. But then the view is not Naivasha. It's like Limuru-ish. Limuru like Limuru like oh yeah, like when guys go to like the tea area in Limuru and then you go view the highlands and you have tea. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I was roaming through the dark, baby. Who you keep making it shine? I'm in love with how you talk, baby My ears craving the sound, yeah You're like a painting Hanging on my every move Baby, you save me You give me All and a little more, yeah It is a wrap with Goma. Yeah, we're heading home in like two hours or so. So I need to go downstairs and have some breaky breaky. Yeah. I can't.